So we're continuing in our conversation about reflections of a retiring president. So while last time we talked about what we thought your, was your biggest success, what do you think was your biggest challenge during your presidency? That one is so easy, sadly. <laughs> it's the fiscal responsibility, fiscal management, fiscal everything in such turbulent times. Now, this is the story I give to the legislature, but so you know this story, but you know that the high point for state appropriations from the state of Illinois was in 2002, long before you or I, either one of us, joined Northeastern. Been pretty steady going downhill ever since. And then last year, they didn't get around to giving us any appropriation. Mm -hmm. So the planning that we did, the factors that we use with regard to guidance from the Higher Learning Commission, all of those things were very important to have us continue when effectively there was no state money coming in. And so the challenge has gotten worse, but we have managed it. Uh, this year we have what's called stopgap funding. It's enough to keep moving, but the reserves have been critical. Mm -hmm. And I think our teamwork's been critical. You know, mm -hmm. if we've got the folks with the greatest budget expertise, we have the greatest, what is the most important thing we do for our students, and our provost is sitting right here. We have all of the other senior team and the creativity of the team. I remember one time we were arguing about it and we just sort of erased the board and started over because we'd gotten ourselves in a place that wasn't gonna work. Mm -hmm. So we backed out and I don't remember who said what, but somewhere we got on a good path. Mm -hmm. And I feel comfortable that Northeastern is stable fiscally. We will make it through the next round of unknowns mm -hmm. and we will continue to manage our fate more and more each year. Mm -hmm. So that has, far and away been the biggest challenge. But you know, I think even though that is, you feel that has been one of your biggest challenges, I think it's sort of important to recognize that when you first came, there was very little cash reserve in Northeastern's uh, history. And so you spent yeah. a good part of your presidency building up that cash reserve in order to meet the accreditation requirement for HLC. And, yeah. and in yeah. fact, that has sort of saved us in, in this past year. I like thinking about it that way <laughs> <laughs> because our goal is to have our university thrive right. and the fiscal peace. We have no shortage of wonderful ideas. Yes. We know what we need to do for students. Right. We have to choose which things through the strategic right. plan, but we have to be able to support it. Right. So I'm, I am pleased that we got that done. Well, you've done it well, and I always giggle because the president is a chemist, and, and she does math on the back of the envelope, what she talks about. She goes, well, it's just about this, and she scribbles a few things down, and she comes up with a number, and usually it's exactly right. So oh, it's just, yeah. you know, your, your fiscal uh, management skills have been helpful and useful and has helped the university certainly in these very difficult times in Illinois. And in, let me digress, that's mm -hmm. a lesson for students. Whatever you train in isn't necessarily exactly what you're going to do, but the skills that you have developed in your discipline come in very handy in other walks of life. Mm -hmm. So. All students should study what their passion is, and those skills will be useful to them. So, Great advice. Okay, Thank thanks you. for this visit. Have a good morning. <laughs> you so. too. <laughs>